Hey everyone, welcome to the channel Knowledge Star, Continuous Knowledge Excellence. My name is Nisha Masroor. In this video, we will get to know about functionalization and synthesis of zeolite. Now, our expert Professor Bohidar, who is associated with National Center Excellence in Acro Nanotechnology, Terry Daikan Nanotechnology Center, India. He has 31 years of academic experience in teaching and research. His area of expertise includes nanoscience and nanotechnology, nanobio interface science, soft matter science, polymer physics, and biophysics. We'll explain you in detail about this topic. So, to get complete information, watch full video without skip. The functionalization of zeolite to either to make it attractive to the anion or cation can be done very easily because it has got either a positive or negative charge surface. We can choose a proper surfactant. And you can just adjust the surfactant on it and changing the polarity to make it suitable for our requirement. You can also form a bilayer kind of structure here. One lipid molecule is sitting here, the other one sits here, and there is the hydrophobic tail of these two, they join here to create stability and make the bipolar structure. All the hydrophobic entities can come and sit here very happily. So in principle, it can capture both cationic, anionic and organic species just by simple functionalization with a surfactant. It's as simple as that. But it's a very powerful way of capturing polar molecules, non-polar molecules, organic molecules. So organic pollutants can be handled very nicely using a surfactant functionalized geolite material. Okay, now come to the synthesis. How do we synthesize zeolite, nano zeolite? Okay, the precursors are sodium metasilicate and aluminum oxide. This sodium metasilicate solution, which is called A, is prepared in 1M NOH. Similarly, we prepare aluminum oxide with certain concentration with solution B. Then solution A is added. To solution B slowly of an extended period of time under continuous stirring so that you get a homogeneous mixture all the time at room temperature there is no requirement of changing the temperature then it is placed after it has become homogeneous and a clear solution is placed inside a autoclave for about six hours and most of the time we use a hydrothermal autoclave and for the benefit of the students i'll show you what a autoclave is autoclave is a structure metallic structure here is a chamber inside which something else is there i'll show you again next slide this is that chamber metallic chamber which is made of stainless steel inside this there is a teflon cell with a cap here. The cell has certain capacity, it can be 20 ml, 30 ml, 50 ml, 100 ml, etc, etc, depending on the requirement. So you load the reaction sample into this, put the cap on, load it inside this material, inside this stainless steel structure like this, and then put the cap on it. Tighten it, then this is becomes this becomes airtight. Okay, now this is what it is after it is assembled. So your reaction mixture has gone into this thing and now you put it in an oven. This is a normal standard oven that you see in any lab, hot air oven. Okay, you put it in the oven for about five to six hours. A temperature, typical temperature can be 250 to 300 degrees Celsius. Okay, then. Wait, wait, wait. Are you worried about your project, training, dissertation, internship? Don't think too much because Nanoscience and Technology Consortium, in short, NSTC, is giving you a golden opportunity to do the same tasks. NSTC also conducts workshop on amazing topics. So if you want to register in the workshop, the registration link is given in the description box below or you may go to the website www.nanoschool.in where you can easily enroll in the workshops. 
So just check it out right now. After the reaction is over, you filter the material and then you will see beautiful whitish powder coming out of there, which is the genogen geolite that you have synthesized. So the synthesis process is also very trivial here. It doesn't require any extensive infrastructure or really high-end equipment to synthesize it. Precursors are not very expensive, so it's possible to make it in the lab. This is the time picture of the synthesizer. You can see the geolite structures here, nano geolite structures here, assembled together here in the big clusters. Nano geolite also can be synthesized from a waste material, which is the coal fly ash. Coal fly ash has all the ingredients to turn it into geolites. Again, this is an example of waste to wealth paradigm. So what is done is you have coal fly ash is mixed with sodium hydroxide again. The ratio of 1 is to 1 1.2 weight by weight. Then heated at 600 degree for about three hours. Here you realize that we are using sodium hydroxide powder here. There is no liquid here. Okay, they are fused together. It is ground in a mortar and pestle. And a given amount is now put in deionized water. A different amount of molar ratio, water molar ratio. You can put 1 is to you, 4, 1 is to 10, 1 is to 15, 1 is to 20. And this is very, very important because this is ultimately going to define, depend or define your uh, pore size. Okay, now the samples are aged for 24, 48, 68, 72 hours. Then they are transferred to a oven kept at 80 degrees Celsius for about 24 hours. And just like we have done before, this can be done through a hydrothermal treatment. You can put it in the hydrothermal cell. Temperature not very high, you can put it around 100 degrees Celsius leave it for about 24 hours and so mostly your material is made after that. So basically the premise of the synthesis is you have to synthesize it under moderately high temperature and high pressure. High pressure is something like you know five to ten times more than the atmospheric pressure and the temperature can be as I mean 100 degree to 200, 250 degree not more than that. And after that, basically, it's a filtration, washing the material and remove the excess NOH by overnight heating at 90 degrees Celsius. So then you will get a series of samples depending on the amount of water you have added at the beginning, the molar ratio 1 is to 4, 1 is to 10, etc., etc. That is reflected here. 4 is 1 is to 4 sample, 10 is 1 is to 10 sample, 15, 20 similarly. And this N is number of hours for which it was aged. It can be 24 hours, 48 hours, 68 hours, etc. etc. So you have a family of nano geolite available with you for testing. So you can optimize it and take the best and use it. I hope you like the video. Here I would like to give you an important information that Nano Science and Technology Consortium organized the nanotechnology workshops on very interesting topics. Also, I would like to tell you about the initiatives of NSTC in which you can also be a part of. Joint product development, research projects, consultancy services, nanomaterials for your research projects, training programs or customized training programs, workshops or customized workshops. So that's all. If you want to see these type of videos, then please do comment. We will definitely reach out to you. Subscribe to the channel Knowledge Star and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you. For more updates, subscribe to our channel, click the links shown on the screen to stay connected.